Hello YouTube, welcome to my second lesson about Spring REST. Today we are going to connect to the database and fetch some data from it. In order to do that, we need connection with the database and we need the service and a repository. So first we are going to set up connection with the database. In Spring Boot this is fairly easy, you just need to add some properties to application.properties file. So what this property does, it uh, handles the Spring Boot's relationship with the database. There are three options, update, create and create drop. So uh, Spring Boot will uh, create, update or create drop database on the uh, application start. Also, I uh, uh, already uh, created all the necessary data in order to test this so we don't so so i set this property to none the second property tells about the uh, location of the mysql ser server and what uh, what uh, scheme uh, scheme to use so third and fourth property are just username and passwords please do, do not use root root in, in in the production so first thing we thing we need to do is to uh, create a repository so we need interface name repository name repository which extends jpa repository and we need to add type of or class or we need to add data type or uh, uh, entity and id so for ID, it, it will be long, and data we need, we will set name. Name will be a class which represents the row in the database. So we have name, and we need to add fields like ID, private uh, long ID, private string, first name, and copy that last name and address if I correct ah, okay so uh, in order to Spring Boot to know that is this is the entity class we need to add entity annotation also we need to add table and name of the table we'll, we will use and that will be name so this is table and these are the, the fields in the class okay name and we need to add ID so that Spring Boot know that this is the ID also we need data this is a one book library and it gives us uh, getters and setters for all fields that are in the class. We'll add a constructor with all arguments and default constructor this way. To map this field to first name here, which is as you can see a little differently named. Uh, differently named. It has the underscore here and not uh, up, up upper case here so we need to do this call name and add first name now hibernate new know how to use this so we will do the same for the rest of the fields last name and address I hope I wrote it okay I the rest is okay so this is it now we have repository which communicates with the database JPA repository is a interface which gives us all these sort of functions that we can use to query uh, data from database so Simply, it's like uh, like you're typing query here. You know. 
now the, that we have repository we have the model we need service so okay service name service and okay so this service will have a couple of methods first of all will be public and will return name and it will be find by id well no find by name let's make it a little little better so it will accept string name okay and now we need to return that data from the database in order to do that we need to inject name repository and add constructor for this Teleg makes this fairly easy so we'll do this name repository find by and you can see that we do not have we do not have that option here so we need to add a new function here so it will return name this will be a return type and we can find by name see what I have it. we have a ton of options here but we're just gonna do this and we have string name okay uh, find by first name and and do this and this can be final field so now we have name service we have name repository and we have everything we need so in order to return this type of data we need to make this controller use that service name service okay now that we injected it yeah of course what i forgot one thing in spring boot we need to add component to let spring boot know that this can be used in the other spring boot class so that's why it it it, it was red underscored here sorry for that now we're gonna use name service to return a whole name record so we have return name service find by name and pass that first name okay we get red and it says because we have here string and it should be name so that's okay okay now we are ready to test our application Let's run it and see what it will tell us. Okay, so our, our application is running. I already prepared the request, so we should... Uh, yeah, so uh, we get response and this is just one JSON object with all fields from the database as you can see it's matching so if we send George oh sorry okay so so we send here the name that doesn't exist and we got empty so this should throw an exception exception and that I will talk about that later in the, in the next video so we have um, we have just returned uh, the object from the database now if you want to return multiple multiple ob objects we need to cre create a new method that we can get first names get names <laughs> And it will be a list of names. So it's pretty simple, like it, it's much simpler than this. So we do not need this. And and we need new method in the name service. So we're gonna create a new method which will be like this. So 
find all and we don't do this we need just find all and now we are ready to return and now we are ready to return all the records from the database so mm, we're gonna reload the application and test it okay our application started and now we will send a request get names tada we got response this is not the usual response that it should be returned so uh, we need we'll fix this by creating another class for example that will return response so uh, we'll have <laughs> a new class response which will have private beta okay so this will beta all our constructor no our constructor and build okay so we will return response like this response class resp okay the typo builder build and we'll have data okay and we will return uh, sorry we just need to add here a list of name to make it work okay and return response it should work now I don't see why it's working mm -mm -mm -mm. okay so we fixed that and now we are gonna we wanna see if everything is all right so just my bad Whoop. oh my bad guys I need to set here a name just just a name because in response name uh, and the name service should return mm -mm -mm like this so yeah I made a mistake and this will be just the name and I'll be good to go okay application started so this is much better you will have you will have an object with data parameter which contains all data you have so this should be applied uh, for the <coughs> for the this class up here so we're going to return create a one method private response of t and um, response just response and uh, Create response and we will have okay private return uh, t class okay
Let it, and now we can add response. name and we have mm -mm -mm, and list uh, yeah, list like this in, in order to make it work so we're running a position and that's it and get first name f name master and we are getting the same response here so that would be it for the second tutorial i hope you like it if you have any uh, su suggestions how to how to improve my videos please comment or send direct message on linkedin or somewhere so Thank you for your attention, uh, see you soon, bye bye.